Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the BBC. I really appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen, joining me tonight. Uh, it's been a while since I've put a video out because I have been really busy. Uh, of course, I work in the healthcare profession, and if you don't know that there's a thing out there called COVID-19, uh, you've been living under a rock, and uh, my job is kind of tough. So um, I don't get a lot of time to do this. Uh, so I do apologize for not putting out things uh, more consistently. But tonight I want to talk to you about uh, what I had spoke about before about race fuels because I had someone that had some questions uh, and I think I may have gone over, like I may have been driving, I think I'd gone over the equation for it and someone may have missed it or didn't quite understand. So I will do my best to try to go nice and slow so that everyone can understand what it was that I was saying about race fuels. Now, I am not a mechanic. I'm not a professional car guy. I don't do this for a living. Uh, I work in the healthcare profession once again. So I, this is a hobby for me. But I will give you the information that I have. So when, when you're doing race fuel, yes, you can mix the fuels. Uh, but how it goes is, and once again, I will put the equation somewhere where you can see it. What you want to do is you want the percentage or the volume, how much of fuel A, which is, you know, whatever it is that you have in your car or going to, you know, right now. Let's say you have five gallons in your car. Then the octane of fuel A. So whatever that you have in your car, the octane that is at your pump is the octane. So it'll be at 91, 93, 89, 87, whatever it is you have, that's how that's those two parts of the equation. That's the first part of the equation. Percentage of fuel A, which they mean the volume, and the octane of octane of fuel A, which is whatever you have at your pump. Now the second half of the equation is you're gonna add the percentage of fuel B, which is how much you are going to add in conjunction with what you already have in your car from the pump, not race fuel. So then whatever you want to add to top off your car put, put times, the, times the octane of the race fuel. So for example, if you are going to have 91 octane in your car and you have five gallons of it and you want to put five more gallons of 100 octane in your car, you're going to multiply the percentage of fuel A, and which, which means the amount of fuel A, with the octane of fuel A. You're going to multiply those. Then you're going to add the amount of fuel B, which is a percentage of, which would be just for example, 50%, and the octane of fuel B for example, we'll say it's 100 octane. So you multiply A, you multiply both of B, and then you add those together. And then that will give you your octane. So if you, anybody who did algebra in high school, you'll pretty much remember that it's kind of like A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but it's not quite, but it's close enough. You'll, you'll get it once you see the equation. Once again, I'll put it up here somewhere or down here, whichever, so you'll be able to see it and you can work it out yourself. I'll try to break it down. I'll even give you uh, the octane uh, and percentage of my car so you'll know what I'm running in my car when I add 100 octane race fuel to my car. So that's kind of just it. Uh, you can go on to uh, Google because, hey, Internet's great. And if you go to Sunoco, they break down that same equation that I've just given you on their, uh, I guess, website. It tells you how to do race fuels, and you can look it up for yourself and see how it's done. And then you can, uh, you know, pretty much tell how much, what your octane is in your car when you're running your car. And I say this because I want you guys to remember this. Once again, I am not a mechanic. I don't, I'm not a dyno tuner. None of that. So don't, don't get it twisted. If you're getting your car dynoed and you want to have a certain percentage, you want uh, a certain octane uh, rating, so when they dyno your car, that's how you can mix your race fuels to say if you're going to go to the track and you want to dyno your car and see how many horsepower, how much horsepower it has, you can add and mix fuels so that you can get the octane that you want to be able to get the horsepower that you're looking for. So when you go to the track, 
you'll know what you're putting down. Now, if you have flex fuel and meth and all that stuff, pfft, hey, uh, that's not my thing. Uh, you'll have to ask someone else. I may do a video on that uh, if I can, you know, get some information. I'll, I'll do some research. If you guys want me to research, um, you know, percentages and all that stuff as far as with meth and um, E85 flex fuel, let me know. I'll do some research. I'll, you know, throw a video together for you and try to make it as, um, I guess, understandable as possible from a guy who's just a lay person. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you guys tonight. Um, be careful out there. Be safe. Uh, please try to keep it under 100. And if you cannot keep it under 100, remember, it's your ticket and you are going to have to pay it. Uh, and before we leave, I almost forgot, uh, I have some Borla attack mufflers somewhere back over there behind my car. Uh, I had them on my car for less than a year. I have about a thousand miles on them. They're pretty much brand new. Uh, they were a little loud. I don't, I don't mind the loud, but my neighbors, you know, I kind of want to respect my neighbors in the morning. So I kind of toned it down and got some, uh, you know, Borla S type mufflers, you know, a little bit quieter, but still has performance, of course. Uh, so uh, I have those mufflers. If you want them, they are yours for the taking. The only caveat I have on those is I am trying to reach 500 subscribers. I know I don't have an opportunity to do videos very often because, you know, I, once again, I work in the healthcare profession and there's some stuff going on. So if you want those mufflers, uh, you know, tell your friends, subscribe yourself. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'll give those mufflers away, no problem. Um, also, if I get um, a thousand views on that particular video, that particular video, I put it up here somewhere so you guys can see it, um, I will give those away as well. So it's one of those things, the 500 subscribers or the thousand views on that one particular video or more, uh, I'll be more than happy to give those uh, away. So make sure you go and check that video out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and that would help me a lot. And I also have more stuff that I'm trying to get rid of, some wheels and whatever. Uh, let me know if you guys really want those things. I will give them away to you uh, absolutely. Uh, have a great evening. Uh, enjoy your holiday. Be safe out there. And uh, take it easy, guys. <laughs>